Let's say you're working in Final Cut and you've deleted a clip. What do we do about this gap? Well, we could um, select all of these uh, clips and move them back. But when you're working on a big and complex project, that can be a little bit difficult. Instead, what you can do is right-click on the gap between two clips, like this, and select Close Gap. And that's a really quick and efficient way of dealing with problems like this. Now the easiest way to add a text object to your sequence is to double click on the text generator here. You'll notice that it opens in the viewer and there are a number of um, different um, settings that we can change here. So if you click on the control tab, um, we can change the word sample text to something like a romance. Dot, dot, dot. Um, I might choose a suitably cheesy font something like Zafino and uh, I, I'm, I'm reasonably happy with the color here if I go back to video I might crank up the size a little bit I'm gonna go back to the video tab maybe just a little bit large there we go um, I could change the color um, and uh, I could make it bold, those sort of things. So all of your standard text settings are here. An important one is probably color, and you can change the color of the text um, by selecting a color on the color wheel. I'm gonna hit cancel because I'm pretty happy with white. When you're happy with the text that you've got here, uh, you can drag it and drop it into the timeline. You'll notice that it is a little bit on the long side, but you can adjust it by pressing A to grab your select tool and just shortening the clip like so. Now what I'm going to do is um, rearrange this slightly and put the text in between these two clips. Hit P to grab my pen tool and I'm going to fade in the text just like I've um, faded in um, the other two clips. And I'll just adjust this again. Now if I move the playhead back to the beginning of the sequence and hit the spacebar this is what I've got so far. To add an effect to a clip in Final Cut, go to the Effects tab, um, go to Video Filters, and choose one of the many filters that are available in Final Cut. Um, I'm going to double click on the first clip that I have here in my timeline and open it up in the viewer. I'm going to go to the uh, tint filter and drop it onto this clip and you'll notice that um, if I click on filters you can see tint is now here. Now with the playhead over my clip I'll be able to see all of the changes that I make um, to this filter in real time um, on the canvas. To start off with I'm going to click on um, color and just change this to a bright vivid green and hit OK and you can see that effect has now been applied to um, the clip. To turn the effect off you can click this checkbox here and to delete the um, effect you can just hit delete like that and that's how you add a basic um, filter to the clips in your sequence. And now a quick introduction to how you use transitions in Final Cut. I'm going to go to the Effects tab and then open the Video Transitions folder. You'll notice there are a whole range of different transitions in Final Cut. I'm going to choose a simple cross dissolve and drop it between these two clips. You'll notice that a transition has now been added um, here. And if I drag the um, ends of this, I can change how long this cross dissolve goes for. If I click at the beginning of my uh, sequence here, and then press the spacebar to play, you'll see how this works. If you double click on the transition, it'll open it up in the viewer and you'll be able to change the attributes of that transition. Now I'm going to show you how you can work with audio in Final Cut. Up in my browser I've got a short uh, WAV file that I'm going to drag and drop into the timeline. Now with audio, I find it's really useful to show the waveforms in audio clips. If you hold down Command Option W on the keyboard, that brings up the waveforms. And if I play this now, you'll be able to hear that music. Okay, 
One of the things people most often want to do with audio is fade in and out, and fortunately, this is really simple. If you press P on your keyboard, you pick up the pen tool, and you'll notice, since we have toggle clip overlays on, we can create keyframes um, to edit the levels of this audio. I'm just going to drag uh, this point around a little bit, and if you listen now, you'll notice that this audio fades in. Now I'm going to do exactly the same uh, midway through this audio clip. I'm going to create two edit points, one here and one here, and I'm going to drag the second one down. And if I play it from the beginning, you'll notice that this audio fades in and fades out. Now, um, just to neaten this up, I'm going to press A on my keyboard to grab the select tool, and I'm going to drag um, the end of this clip back, and it'll snap to that second edit point that I've created.